You have any luck with the ghouls? Hey! Don't listen to a word No Bark says. I don't think he ever sleeps. So it's no wonder he's... Fine weather for flying. It's time's... Four? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Watch! I hope you're fine. We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister car- Other than that, nothing to- Well, up north the ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers. Go see- Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some b Ranger Andy's still hurt, but we got these two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of no... They've been a blessing. Watch out. Howdy.
You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Stop wasting my time, Smooth Skin. Go waste Jason's. Forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out. Somehow. And now they are lost forever, denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer, bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. The demons appeared from nowhere, except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost, nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the Great Journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, Silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Praise the Creator! Bless you, Wanderer! Bless us all! As soon as the un- Is the way clear? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Let me know.
victim. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? And I bet he told you it's the Creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand. First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good deal. Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein, condensation off the pipes for water, and I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you, that Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out. Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. You, on the other hand, seem pretty ris- Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. That Adler, we have a visitor, an assassin. Hmm. Okay, Adler, I'll ask. Ah, uh, hi, human. Why you come here? I am in. And a human who is friend to ghouls. Suspicious. You meet the ones upstairs. Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Your cool friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right, a, a piece of paper, shipment invoice, hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room, one we don't search yet, the one we can't search. A ghoul, 
but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three... After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I... Then, you come along! Yes, Antler says we... Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not ex... Did you find my friend? I'm not...
truck.
Antler see Liar! The invoice! But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? What, Antler? But human could be lying. He's stealing the stealth boys for itself. Oh, Antler, you trust so easy. Your lucky day, human. Antler, believe you. Nikon will follow the new note.
You did good, smooth skin. Never thought I'd get out of that room. Let Is the way clear? Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I, will I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation... If you would still help us, Wanderer, there is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We wish to escape the barbarity of the Wasteland especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete. Yes, the rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. 
It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that the radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from Chris, but it is the cre- There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Obviously, it's taken months. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't... It's no longer potent enough. I need you to... As for the thrust control modules, they were custom... Very well. We don't need a huge amount. All right. Her
Have you found the components we discussed? Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust. Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that... There. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helio. As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules.
Have you found the components we discussed? In. Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can... We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends. One you, the other a long, abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks, and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing, and we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Morning. Oh. Morning. Morning. Did you hear him? My god, you were right all along. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown. Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland? Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. Maybe it'll be different this time. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. You go launch the rockets. I'm on my way to Novak. <laughs>